you take me home, please, Mr. Ludden? like that. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. Why not be sloppy and super and all those wonderful things? The guppies are on the floor again, and this is the show where you win eight obstacles, or you win eight prizes for doing the eight obstacles. Isn't that, Harvey? <laughs> How many of these things have we done today now, huh? About 17? <laughs> Don't look okay. at me. I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, no money yet here for a team that calls themselves the Slime Sliders, Peter and Angie. Hello, Peter and Angie. <laughs> Peter is a wrestler. What weight class are you? 165. And uh, you are undefeated, right? No, my school's undefeated. We're undefeated for four years. For four years? That's incredible. And your record it must be pretty good as well then, huh? Uh, I kind of half and half. I wrestled JV. Well, that's all right. And uh, Angie is your partner and uh, says you want to be a veterinarian. Do you have animals at home? Mm -hmm. How one, many? One dog. And what's the dog's name? Chip. Chip. Okay. Usually it's Muffin. You ever notice how many dogs are named Muffin? I don't know why. Anyway, we have a team on your left. It's called uh, Quinky Dinks, Mandy and Billy. Hello, Mandy and Billy. Now, Mandy's a little strange because uh, tell them what you like. Mustard? Oh, I like um, mashed potatoes with mustard in it. Now, where did you first try this out? Um, in school. I see. Uh, did you do it on a dare? No. Must have been the physical challenge, actually. <laughs> and uh, Billy Underwood, he uh, collects baseball cards. What's the most valuable card you have? Mm, I don't really know. Do you have a lot of cards? Yeah. Okay. Twenty dollars as well, and uh, a show where uh, daring for dollars will double your bucks. And here's how that works. I'm going to ask you a question. Well, not you, but these guys. And if you don't know the answer or uh, think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful because they can always double dare you back for four times the bucks, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the slime sliders. The quinky dinks have uh, $20 in control of this question right here. Who invented daylight savings time and established the post office? It's worth 10, or you can dare them. Dare. All right, now worth 20 could tie the game. Double dare. Double dare, now worth $40. Do you know who it is? Or are you going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It is Benjamin Franklin, a man who is here from the Philadelphia area on a regular basis. He comes here often. And we have a uh, physical challenge right about now. Step over here, if you would, please. Well, you folks could take a pretty good lead, or what could happen is you could give them the lead. Um, now, washing is something that men always let 
the women do. And I don't think that's fair. So today I want you to do the wash. So I want you to come around here to the washing machine and you go over there and uh, talk to Dave for a few seconds. Now in this washing machine we have a couple of things that uh, are actually all sudsing up. You can see it's sudsing over already and that could cause big problems because inside there we have a shirt. We also have a pair of uh, shorts and we also have a wig and they've all been washed and uh, what I want you to do is dry them, take them out and one at a time put them on this line, just sort of hang them over and send them over there to your partner. And when you get them one at a time, first maybe the shirt, then the uh, shorts, and then perhaps uh, the wig, you have to do what with them? Do you know? No. Put them on. Of course, it's super sloppy double there. So you put on the wig, the shirt, and the pair of pants. And if you have all those on in 30 seconds or less, we're going to give you $40. Now, on the way over, if something falls off, you have to come over here and get it and put it on again. It must go all the way across, all right? Visiting hours are Tuesday and Thursday. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Still round one on Super Sloppy Double Dare, and the Quinky Dinks uh, did their wash, and they had one second left, and they also have $60. I'm upset. During the break, I found out that I just got this jacket fixed. Look at this. The arms are too long. This thing fits like a glove. It covers my hands. If you notice this, look at this. It's terrible. We've got to send this thing back. It is too long, and uh, I'll have to go like this the whole time. I know you don't care, but we needed to kill a few seconds. Anyway, here's a question right over here from Andy and Billy. In alphabetical uh, list, in an alphabetical list, which Jetson would be last? There. Now we're at 20. Uh, in an alphabetical list, what Jetson would be last? Double dare. Double dare. Now it's worth 40. Uh, do we know who it is, or are we going to take a physical type challenge? Physical challenge. All right, it is uh, Judy. Uh, that's who it is. And meet George Jetson, Jane, his wife, daughter Judy. And, uh, yes. <laughs> you ever been to Hawaii? No. Would you like to go? Uh, well, I won't mind. You wouldn't mind. Well, we'll send you Double Dare style. Super sloppy Double Dare style. Go over there and see uh, Davy Baby. And over here you see uh, Robbie Bobby. And uh, you're going to be a tourist. And uh, all tourists in Hawaii look pretty much the same. They carry a stupid camera. And we're on the all Hawaii, oh, no, all Japanese station in Hawaii playing catch with me with the cameras. Can you catch me over here, huh? Okay. And then they're over here. Oh, Dean. Okay. Put that on there. And over here we have some Lay's. I uh, bet you can't eat just one. Well, we did that joke back on Double Dare, didn't we? Anyway, uh, just lift right up here and you will notice that there is lots of uh, Hawaiian kind of pineapple stuff in these Lay's covered with this gack. Now, what you have to do is find that gack. And um, nice to see you, Robin. And toss it right over here <laughs> and catch it where? Right up here on the pineapple. Now, you can move around. You can't move too much further than this, but you can step a foot or two in front of this line, all right? Be uh, bobbing and weeding, be bidi and bobbing. Uh, in 20 seconds or less, <laughs> if you catch two up there, I've lost it, Dave. Uh, you get $40, otherwise, the money goes over there. On your mark, get set. They're too long. Go! <laughs> Super sloppy double there over here. Hundred dollars for the Quinky Dinks, and I have pineapple gack all over myself. And uh, gee whiz, here we go with another ten dollar question from Andy and Billy. What movie features the song "Mean Green Mother" and "Dentist"? We get a one ten, or you can dare them. There. Now we're twenty. Let's get on the board, Peter and Angie. What movie features the song "Mean Green Mother" and "Dentist"? Little Shop of Horrors. Yes, twenty dollars for you. Good job, Stone Fighters. So now Peter and Angie have control in this $10 question. 105-year-olds Allie Hill and Maggie Denton, the oldest twins in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, were quoted as giving what advice? Live clean and chew gum, or eat what you like but walk it off, or life is like an orange. You can dare them. 
dare. Now we're 20. Uh, these two 105-year-old twins, did they say live clean and chew gum? Eat what you like, but walk it off. Life is like an orange. Or are you going to double dare them back? Double dare. Now worth 40. Or are you going to take the physical challenge? Life is like an orange. Life is like an orange is incorrect. They said live clean and chew gum. $40 goes over here to the Quinky Dinks. And huge lead, but plenty of time. We're still in round one. What ocean is between Australia and Africa? Would bring you to 150, or you could dare them. Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is right. Add another $10. Good job. They know their geography. Comets are, ma are made mostly of what? Ice, rocks, or cleanser? Ice. Ice is right. Another $10. Good lead here for Mandy and Billy. We have another $10 question. What pop singing group had a hit with the song Kokomo from the movie Cocktail? Beach Boys. Yes, right again. That's right. That sound means it's the end of round one, and with $170, the Quinky Dinks have the lead. I got you to understand. I got you to hold my hand. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Oh, man, hey, that's all right. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just digging you, digging me. Yeah, there goes Sonny back to Palm Springs, and we're here for round two of Super Sloppy Devil Dare. And all of a sudden, I have a southern accent. Why is that? <laughs> anyway, uh, that means all the dollar values will double, and when you hear this sound... <laughs> That means the game is over. Thank you. That was my impression of Bob Marley. We are going to carry on here with, uh, gee whiz, $40 control possibly. Uh, pardon me? Thank you, Cher. Yeah. Hey, babe. Uh, you have a mop on your head and a song in your heart, as you do. And uh, <laughs> what you have to do is stick your head in this bucket, which is what most normal people do who watch this program. And then you have to stick your head right into this area where we will squeeze your head out, <laughs> just like that, and fill the uh, little area there past the line. The first one past the line gets $40 in control of round two. Yes, don't adjust your sets. This is the real physical challenge. On your mark. Get set. Go. Stick your head in that water and see if you can throw it out. Take those mops off your hair, and let's move back and play some super sloppy devil there. Oh, my. All right, Mandy and Billy beat them uh, just by that much, and they now have $210 in this $20 question. Complete this Dr. Seuss book title. One fish, two fish. Three fish, four? No, it's red fish, blue fish. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Come on, slime sliders, let's get on the board with more money. What's the closest pa planet to the Earth? Or you can dare them. Worth 20 or you can dare them. Dare. Okay, now worth $40. Trying to find out the closest planet to the Earth. Mars. Mars is incorrect. It's Venus. Put $40 right over there. You now have 60. Good job there. Peter and Angie, you have control of this question. A little sports math for you. Add the best possible score in gymnastics to the number of periods in a hockey game and then subtract the number of swimmers in a relay and give me the answer. Worth 20, or you could dare them. Quickly before time runs dare. out. Okay, now with 40. Possible, best possible score in gymnastics, added to the number of periods in a hockey game, and subtract the number of swimmers in a relay. 26. No, it's 9. 10 plus 3 is uh, 13 minus 4 equals 9. Let's put another $40. You now have 100 slime sliders, and you're making your move pretty quick here in uh, round number 2. Johnny Depp plays what character on 21 Jump Street? You could dare them. Hanson. Uh, is that enough information? Yes, it's Tom Hanson, but Hanson, we got the last name. We'll give you $20. And uh, another question. Which person does not have a food named after him? Is it Rudolph Boysen, Elmer Tootsie, or Sylvester Graham? Which one does not have a food named for him? 
Elmer Tootsie. Uh, uh, not, yes, not... Uh, Rudolph Boysen has the Boysenberry, Sylvester Graham the Graham Cracker, and Elmer Tootsie, no Tootsie roll. Another $20 out of there. So we now have $70 separating our two teams, and we'd like to know how many red stripes are on the American flag? Thirteen. No, red stripes are seven. Seven red, six white. No dare at stake, no money changing place. $20 question for Mandy and Billy. LZC Seagar created what vegetable-loving cartoon character? Dare. Now worth 40. LZC Seagar created what vegetable-loving cartoon character? Would bring it to 180. Double dare. Double dare. Uh, oh, the answer is Popeye, and that sound means the end of the game with $210. The Quinky Dinks won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. $105 a piece. More important, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. $140 over there. Boy, you're just starting to make your move. And that means you get $70 a piece. And to Harvey, once again, we do have lovely parting gifts, don't we? Oh, here on Super Sloppy Double Dare, and I want to try something here. Obstacle number one is the drum roll. Uh, Ick, uh, Fig, can you get in here just for a second, and can you do this with the camera? This is what it looks like if you're ready to really throw up at home. Ready? This is Fig, our cameraman, walking with the camera inside. <laughs> oh, man. And that's what you're uh, going to have to do there, Quinky Dinks, all the way. Well, almost all the way. And then if you come down here, you'll see there's a flag, and when you get to the end, you'll reach over and grab that flag, and you'll pass it to your partner, and you'll win this prize. It's a $100 KB gift certificate. Where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. Where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall, KB, America's Toy Store. And then coming up next is Darcy Blows, and it's a large trumpet with some little uh, areas to push, and you can push down there or up here. You want to push that flag out. It is a large, large horn with a loud noise and a little flag. Grab that flag, pass it, and what's the prize, Harvey? It's the Fisher-Price TXL 2000 video system, Mark. Record your favorite activities and play them back on your own TV. It's the video system designed just for you. Do you want cola, do you want orange, or do you want grape? What you really want from the soda jerk is the flag. You have to stomp on those quite hard, and a little stream of something will come down on you. Hopefully it's the flag the first time around. You'll pick up time if it is, and you'll pick this up. Bring the excitement of soccer in your foosball soccer. Hi there, it's time to go on to the kid farm, and uh, obstacle number four belongs to who today? That is yours, okay? You get up this ladder as quickly as you can, drop down underneath and up here to where the flag is, and before you come out, if you stick that flag out and pass it to your partner, you'll pick up even more time, and what's the prize this time? It's the Dahan Folder, radically transforms from a small package into an intense performance machine, capable of high-velocity cruising. Now you can be the red performer, Dahan Folder. It is the doggy door, and you must get down on all fours and go underneath the doggy door and end up on the other side where little Fido would normally get the flag. And uh, gosh, the part of the flag may be sticking out over there. We'll see if we can cover that up just a little bit, mix it up. And uh, you can find that flag, and you can uh, pass it, and you can win this. From the editors of the Comedy Botanica, comes Children's Botanica. Easy to use and understand the exciting color mission. Children's Botanica tries to the very best of the Number six is toothpaste. You want to stomp on the end there and reach over here and uh, maybe look in the cap first. It may be in there. It may be towards the end here. I don't know where it is, but I'd like you to find it very fast. We'd like to see a winner here, and we'd like to know what the next prize is, Harvey. Hey, it's Smith Corona's easy-to-use XD 5500 memory typewriter with 50,000-word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette. American made by Smith Corona. Hi, I look like the guy on that other show. Anyway, uh, it's Grease Monkey, obstacle number seven. And you have to go all the way underneath and get all messed up. And once you get all messed up, you'll be on the other side and you'll grab that flag and you'll win this prize. From Kathy Oates, the During the break, we asked kids if they can do any impressions. And what is your name, sir? Eric Johnson. And Eric, you said you were on a Howie Mandel special? I saw I saw it, and he did some impressions. And you do one of his uh, voices. Was it Bobby? Mm -hmm. Let me hear it. Hello, my name is Bobby. 
That is the weirdest voice in the world. We have a super sloppy Double Dare t-shirt for him, and uh, thank you very much for that. And let's go over here to obstacle number eight, where we have hunt and peck. You must hunt for the right key. You must peck the right key. You must turn this up and grab the flag in 60 seconds or less. And if you can do all that, what's the grand prize today, Harvey? Ah, uh, <laughs> Crazy man, here he comes. And, ah! Okay, we're at obstacle number one, the drum roll. Set the clock for 60 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! Shockwave styling products give you total control over your hair. Soft and natural or spiked and glossy, the only limit is your imagination. Shockwaves from Willa. And also by Franklin. Don't look it up, punch it up with Franklin's amazing word whiz. It instantly corrects spelling of 80,000 words by Miriam Webster and plays exciting word games too. This is your announcer, Yeah,